Hi folks, Philip Andrews here for the Photoshop Elements team and in this session we're going to look at some of the quick ways of fixing your images from inside the organizer workspace. No, you don't have to take your images into the editor workspace to do some great editing. You can do them right inside the organizer workspace. Now here I've got seven images that we're going to apply some really quick fixes to and we're going to do it right from inside the organizer. So the first thing we need to do is go across to the fix tab and when we just click on the fix tab you'll see that we have some special photo fix options listed here. The first one is Auto Smart Fix. I'm just going to double click just to drag this image up to full screen and you'll see that yes it's okay, there's colors there, the exposure is not too bad but it doesn't have any zap or zing to it and if we just click on the Auto Smart Fix you'll notice that Photoshop Elements is able to increase the saturation of the colors, bring back some contrast and some sharpness as well and with any of these photo fix options you'll notice that the actual image that we've applied the changes to is kept alongside the changed image or the new edited image inside a version set. Now that's great because it means we can always go back to the original if we don't like the type of changes that have been made to the photo in the first place. So let's go across to the next one and you'll notice that there's a green hue that's pervading the image. So there's a slight color cast to the photo. Well we have another option here called auto color and we can select auto color and it will actually remove some of that color cast that you can see there. So notice that this was the before image and this is the after image. And you can see the change in the color that's brought about by the auto color option. What about auto levels? Well here we've got a photo that looks to be underexposed. If we select auto levels then Photoshop Elements will head off and try to correct some of the problems with the tone in the photograph and you can see that that's a much better result. So what else do we have? Well this particular photo here taken on an overcast and even slightly foggy day needs a little bit more contrast and we can rectify that problem by simply just going across to the auto contrast button in the fix panel and you can see immediately that the contrast is much better and the image appears much sharper and the colors much more saturated as well. Let's see what other options we have here the photo is looking pretty good but we just want to add some sharpening to it so clicking the auto sharpen button will just apply a modest amount of sharpening to our image. Most of the images that come straight out of the camera require a little bit of sharpening before you go to print and this is a great way to just apply that. And don't be scared about applying too much sharpening because remember the original image is kept within the version set so if you find that the sharpening is too aggressive or too strong you can always go back to the original image within the version set. Let's go back and see what other options we have and in this photograph here you notice that the girl has some red eye that's the result of the flash. You can see the flash reflecting in the background there as well. Well there is an auto red eye option in the photo fix options that you can see in the fix panel and automatically it's located the red in the eyes and has actually corrected that so I just click OK and job's done. The final editing option that we want to look at is the cropping. So let's look at this particular photo here and we want to crop it so it's suitable for an album cover. If we go into the crop option you'll notice it opens up a small dialog and provides us with a series of tools that we can use for cropping the image. One of those tools is the ability to select the aspect ratio. So we can go and select square from the drop down menu move the cropping marquee around then adjust the size of that cropping marquee using one of the corner handles. If we don't want a square aspect ratio we can go and select no restriction and then we have much more control over the cropping marquee. But in this case we want to actually create a, an illustration for an album cover or a, for a CD cover so we want it to be square and once we're happy with how the image looks and the crop that we've got, simply click on the green commit button and then click OK to apply that. Now because this particular image was photographed using a RAW file, then Photoshop Elements is asking us what file format do we want to convert the image to when applying this crop. So in this instance I'm going to select the Photoshop 
file so that I retain the most quality and also the ability to do other types of editing with the image. So I'm just going to click OK and the image has been cropped and placed back into the organizer workspace. So if we go back and have a look at the photos that we have here, we'll make the thumbnail slightly smaller. you notice that all of those changes have been made very quickly. All of the images are much better than where we started before. And very importantly, we have the before and the after images in a version set. 